Hello and welcome to another video on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the reasons I'm in love with Tipco Businessworks 6.x. Based on my experience with Tipco Businessworks 5.x, I will explain what are some of the features which, ha which are really fascinating and which are making me to have a romance with this version of Tipco and the way it's providing us the features, how it's uh, helping me to understand things and to, ex to uh, make things uh, more manageable and to work with the integration related projects more professionally. The first thing that uh, I love uh, about Tipco Businessworks uh, 6.x is that uh, they have introduced a new uh, studio for designer which is basically an Eclipse based uh, design UI. So any person who is uh, with a background of uh, like Java uh, this type of uh, IDE, which is based on Eclipse, becomes quite uh, convenient and uh, the type of features that it have are, are much familiar with the people who are from the Java background as well. And uh, this is much standardized as well as uh, the standards that are being followed in Studio for Designer are almost similar with some customization for the, the standard Eclipse. And also in case of uh, Studio for Designer, uh, we can see that we have plenty of features available which augment what features we previously had in Tipco Designer for 5.x. For example, some of the features which I really love are that we have different perspectives. Uh, we can switch between the perspectives uh, and these perspectives make us make the life easier for uh, the designers or developers in the, in the integration projects. Like you can switch from the Java perspective, design perspective, debug perspective and plenty of other perspectives uh, that you can follow on. And then another great thing is that it has Maven support for the latest version. It's, it has a built-in Maven support which makes it very convenient for you to uh, use the Maven features in a project. And then you have run and debug configuration options uh, which you can use uh, to debug your project and also you can run your project uh, with, uh, with, with, uh, with in your uh, active uh, app nodes within the designer, uh, within the studio. And then you have a feature for collaborative or team development. So basically uh, you can uh, have a configuration and you can uh, do the collaborative work by uh, by integrating it with, with some of the code versioning uh, platform like Git or SVN. Another great thing that I have observed in case of uh, Studio for Designer is that uh, the way you install plugins, uh, that has become quite convenient. So the support for plugins installation is from within the Tipco Business Studio. And for that, you have to use the plugin uh, public update site, which is maintained by Tipco. So now you don't need to go through the separate process of installing any plugins uh, which are available from Tipco. You can do that directly from the studio. So these are just uh, a few of the examples, but in reality, Studio for Designer provides you tons of features and tons of uh, other facilities and functionalities that you can play around, you can tweak, you can configure with your own customization. So makes Overall, it makes it very, uh, very convenient for any developer or designer to work with the integration projects. So the next thing that I really love about uh, Tipco Businessworks 6.x is uh, its uh, Java projects support. And uh, the great thing, contrary to BW5.x, is that in case of 6.x, you got your own preferences for the Java editor. So you can do your customization and you can make some changes into the configurations for the type of Java editor that you want to use. And then it makes it easier for you to write, compile or run your Java code. And then you can also create your own Java projects. You can implement your Java code by using the palettes which are available in the Java by using the activities which are available in the Java palette and then you can hook it uh, into your Tipco project conveniently. So basically this is something which was available in Tipco 5.x as well but the way it is done in 6.x is more convenient because you can create a Java project and in the Java perspective now you've got all the features to implement in the Java with your own editor preferences and later you can hook or plug that code into your Tipco project. So with the other activities, your Java activities will be also running at the same time in a convenient manner. And also you, if you have an existing project, you can convert that one also into a Java project and then it will open in the Java perspective and then you can play around. So that's something uh, which is available in 5.x as well, but the way it has been provided in 6.x is more convenient and more professional. 
The next thing that I really liked uh, about uh, Business Work 6 attacks is uh, its direct REST support. So in case uh, if you are from the pre uh, background of TIPCO BW5.x, uh, you have to install REST and J JSON plugin separately, which provides you REST and JSON palette uh, in your designer, and then you can implement your uh, REST applications. But in case of uh, TIPCO Business Work 6 attacks, you will readily get this support and you can start straight away uh, with the implementation of your RESTful web services as well. The next thing that's uh, another great uh, aspect of uh, TIPCO Business Work 6 attacks is uh, OSGI commands. And this OSGI support um, brings uh, a lot of features and a lot of functionalities in terms of OSGI commands. Uh, which, which really helps you uh, during your design and development process. For example, uh, if you just go to uh, your console, you will, uh, and you f if you get uh, a list of all the OSGI commands with the help option, you will see that uh, there are a lot of features, a lot of commands which can help you to understand things better, to implement your projects better. As an example, if you use this LS REST talk, this will open uh, for you. Uh, this will provide you the URL for the Swagger uh, UI. And then in that Swagger, you can uh, just simply try, uh, based on the documentation, you can try all of your REST APIs in a very convenient manner. And L endpoint, this command will, will give you all the endpoints that are part of that application. These are just two examples. In reality, there are plenty of other commands also available in the OSGI bundle. And using these, these OSGI commands, you can perform various tasks. Another great thing that uh, I really love about TIPCO Active Matrix Business Work 6 attacks is that it provides you uh, many deployment options. Uh, like uh, you can directly deploy your application from the studio. So within a, within studio, you can configure or you can specify uh, your uh, TIPCO Enterprise Administrator or you can uh, se select your deployment options and then you can directly straight away deploy your application. This is something which was not readily available in the previous version. And also you can use the uh, TIPCO Enterprise Administrator if you want to go with the admin based uh, UI based uh, deployment. And that also provides you quite flexibility and quite great uh, set of features. And then if you want, you can do CICD based uh, uh, deployments as well. Uh, if you want uh, uh, Jenkins pipelines to uh, do your uh, deployments. And BW admin commands also uh, help you to go with the scripted deployments. So these are all plenty of features which are available uh, when it comes to the deployment of your applications. Then the next thing uh, which I really like in case of business works 6.x is the profiling. This profiling helps you to create separate profiles for different environments. For example, uh, let's suppose that you have some uh, connections uh, which uh, you have to configure. Then you can create a dev, test, production, or any other uh, number of profiles in your application. And then once you are doing the deployment from your enterprise administrator or from any other option, at that time you can specify it simply which profile you want to use. So that gives you a quite a convenient way of segregating your profiles and doing the deployments and just selecting the type of profile that you want to use. And that really helps you uh, without uh, going through the uh, cycle of updating all your configuration. So that uh, once you select a profile, all the configurations or all the, uh, all the global variables that have been specified that for that profile will, will be applied to your deployment. The next thing that uh, um, that's uh, available in case of business work 6 tax is that it is providing you various additional functionalities as well uh, when it, when you compare it to uh, the previous version of tipco active metric business works uh, i cannot list all of those and i cannot detail all of those functionalities here of course uh, it has plenty of uh, or i would say dozens of new functionalities that have been added but as an example conversations uh, and compensation are two examples uh, that you can use in case of uh, TIPCO Active Metric Business Work 6.x. Also, the way looping has been implemented or provided in this uh, case is different and more, uh, more uh, I, would say, I would say, professional. So these are a few things. Other than that, uh, you, if you explore uh, TIPCO Active Metric Business Work 6.x in Business Studio, you will see that you got a lot of other options, like the way you implement your REST web services, the way uh, you specify 
uh, how you are going to correlate different uh, uh, different parts of your application and a lot of other things uh, have been implemented and provided as additional functionalities in case of business work 6.x and another great feature that i really love in case of business work 6.x is its feature of remote debugging where you can do the debugging of one of the application of any of the application which is running on a remote app node the next thing uh, which i would like to mention here is uh, its administration ui which is provided by tipco enterprise administrator so it provides you a very uh, professional and quite good looking um, ui uh, for administration and you can also do the monitoring with uh, of your application with the ui so inside the ui the way you have to create domain you with the way you have to create app spaces and you have to define app nodes all these things are quite uh, convenient and for for anyone from the operation if, the, if you, you who wants to do the deployments who wants to do the operations can conveniently understand the concepts and understand how things are categorized how applications are getting deployed and how you have to do the configuration the way you have to do the monitoring all these things from the administration ui are have been provided very in a very professional manner so that's it from this video. I know that uh, I'm not covering so many things, but these are just a few of the things uh, which I'm really in love with Tipco Business Work 6.x. And these options, as well as other features which are available in BW 6.x, make it a really a great advancement from the Tipco side uh, when it comes to the uh, to migration from 5.x to 6.x. One more thing which I did not mention here is that it provides you utilities or tools uh, to convert your or migrate your project from 5.x to 6.x, which is really a great thing. So a lot of other things are there. So you just need to go around and play around with this uh, new version of Tipco, which is not any more new. It is in the market uh, now quite since long. But in case uh, you are from Tipco BW 5.x background, and if you are still in 5.x, I will really recommend you to go through this uh, 6.x because this is the future. It has a lot of features, it has a lot of uh, support and the way uh, TIPCO is uh, promoting and the way TIPCO is seriously Im improving all of these things and adding new functionalities and uh, it is uh, going to be really a great uh, choice for anyone who, is, who wants to uh, promote himself in the career of uh, integration technologies and enterprise service bus. So that's it from this video. If you want to learn more, uh, just visit tutorialspedia.com where I have uh, many other tutorial on TIPCO as well as other integration technologies. And if you want to uh, watch out some more videos, you can subscribe to Tutorialspedia YouTube channel where you will find plenty of videos on TIPCO Businessworks 5.x, 6.x and other related integration technologies. And uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments, any feedback, you can write in the comment section. Thank you.